so they don't have to do anything because we're, we're unfortunately not showing them any better. Yeah. You know, if we're out here killing young black men and women, they figure, well, hell, their jobs are done. They don't have to come over and do anything because everything's been done for them. Yeah. You're just getting rid of people. But unfortunately, they're not just getting rid of people. They're causing more problems. And you're not getting rid of, you know, really the people that are causing these, you know, the issues. This child was not a threat to anyone, not to society, not to anyone. And this is a bright life taken. I don't get a plan a wedding. Instead, I had to plan my daughter's funeral. I don't get to the, the beauty of seeing my first grandchild born. Because I will never have grandchildren. Because my only child has been slaughtered in the streets like she's an animal being hunted in the safari somewhere. I don't get the, the enjoyment of going off to college and visiting my child. I won't even miss my child because I'm waiting for the next long weekend to drive down to Georgia to visit her in school. I have to forever miss my child. I don't get to, you know... I don't get any of the enjoyment that my parents had for the short 16 years that she was on this planet. The love and the enjoyment they received from a grandchild. I will never experience that. I won't help her pick out baby names, pick out clothes. I won't help her pick out her first, you know, a wedding dress. I didn't even get to, you know, see my child go off to a prom. I get nothing. No graduate. The last graduation I had for my child is from middle school. That's all I get. And now that's over. So like I said, you know, you can't correct, you know, death. That's a permanent situation. Like I said, if you, you can you can agree to disagree. People should know how to dialogue. That's if right. you have issues, I know it's a lot going on in the communities, a lot of things taken away, but it's still a lot of things and resources out here. Just like you go on the Internet mm -hmm. and you can research a bunch of nonsense to get into, you can do the same thing to find things. And if they're not out there, guess what? Take the stance. Be a leader. Don't be a follower. Stand up and say, you know what, we don't have this in our community. And I want this. Whatever it is you want. If you want a, a music studio, I know a lot of the young people like to rap and sing and do poetry, spoken word. You know what? Demand that. Like I said, you're killing each other over what? You have D.C. Council down there with millions of dollars that belongs to your community. But you don't challenge where that money is going. You don't right. demand that money comes into your community. When they build a Safeway uptown with the gourmet deli and the little winery in there, you know, all the city council people and the mayor and the delegate Norton, everybody's over there, you know, for the opening of this grocery store. And then we get a grocery store. Okay, we get a little wine section on Alabama Avenue. That's about the extent of the gourmet section. Why is it that when things come into certain communities, it's not done in the same capacity? You know, I like nice wine. I have a wine rack over there full of wine. I love cheese. I have a refrigerator full of cheese. But because I live in Ward 8, my neighbors live in Ward 8, we're less than. We're not articulate. We're not intelligent. You know, 